My name is Carla Erickson. I am a family nurse practitioner. I work at Westfield Premier Physicians, which is a direct care provider. And I have been here for now 21 years. And we are talking today about exercise, which is another one of my favorite subjects. The longer I work in healthcare, the more I realize that if there is a fountain of youth, it is exercise. And I think that it helps our minds, it helps our bodies, it helps our moods. There's really pretty much anything that's not helped by exercise. Energy can improve, stamina can improve, mood can improve, even helping to ward off some of the problems like Alzheimer's can also be improved through exercise. The amount of time that somebody exercises, if you're looking for something very specific, um, I went to the CDC website and they have a page on physical activity and if you want specific times, they can give you times. For instance, an adult should exercise about 150 minutes a week and that is moderately intensive exercise. So if you break that down to maybe half an hour a day, that would be five days a week you exercise for half an hour. Or if you're like me and you exercise for an hour at a time, then that would be maybe three, two and a half to three days. So I, I think it's important to do it. I think the most important time is any amount of time that you do it, meaning it's probably more important to, that for somebody to think about, I need to exercise and actually do it, than try to figure out how they're gonna get minutes in. I think the minutes will come when you enjoy doing the activity, and I think the key is to pick the right activity. I don't think there's an exercise that's more beneficial. I think the most beneficial exercise is the one that you will do. Meaning, part of what I feel my job is to do is to help people figure out what they can do. Um, I think there's a lot of myths about exercise. I think people feel like if I don't sweat and I don't go to a gym and I don't exercise for an hour, then it's not exercise, which is totally not true. I'll ask people if they exercise or when they're here for their preventative care, which again is a great time to be talking about lifestyle, diet, exercise. I'll ask them if they're doing any kind of exercise and they tell me, well, I just walk. And I go, well, how do you, what, do you, what does that mean? Or, well, I take my dog and I walk fast for 30 minutes and I'm like, that's exercise. You're doing exercise. So it doesn't have to be a gym. It doesn't have to be anything more exotic than a pair of walking shoes opening your front door and going out and taking a walk. One of the most important things is trying to find an exercise or an activity that fits you. So and this is not a one size fits all. There's a lot of different things that we can do to exercise. Um, and I'll give you an example. For myself, I've always been a walker. I used to go outside and walk. And I know that I would tend to kind of slow down. So the longer I walked, maybe the slower I got. Um, a friend and I decided we were going to exercise together, so we started going around and trying to find places to exercise, and we landed on Jazzercise, which for me, it fits me perfectly. And I, if I hear a music or a song, and it's fast-paced, it makes me want to move, it makes me want to jump around, and that's exactly what we do in Jazzercise. And I know for myself, it pushes me further than I would push myself. Think about yourself. Would you rather exercise in the morning or in the evening? Would you rather take a walk with your family, ride a bike? What, what suits you the most? And if you don't know of anything that you think you might want to do, then just get a pair of good supportive shoes, open your front door, and set your timer for 10 minutes and just walk. If you have any questions about exercising, about finding ways that you can be more active, or about Westfield Premier Physicians, please email me. My email is n-p-c-e-r-i-c-k-s-o-n at westfieldpremier.com. I'd be happy to help you, be able, happy to talk to you, answer any questions that you might have.